Oh, so we are recording already. Hey folks, how are you all doing? Today's video is about how to edit your image on mobile. Yes, that's right. Based on the story that I put on my Instagram the other day on what video you like to see, this particular video got the most number of polls. But the good news is that we are also going to record the other option which we had put on the story as well. What I have done is I have put this image down in the, in the description so that you all can download and practice on your phone as you look at this particular tutorial. Without wasting any time, let's go on with it and do it right away. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Snapseed and I'm going to change the orientation to landscape. Uh, I come to open. I look for the image on open from device where my image is saved and here it is i pull out and here the image is on the screen what i'm going to do is i go to this pencil like icon which you can see here i open it i go to tune image when i go to tune image i get a slider right here i touch that and then it opens up i look for ambience and then what i do is I, on the right hand side, see, I'm, we can see I'm kind of swiping my thumb and you can see the difference, see. It's adding a little color and opening up the color and the skin tone as well, the fur which is what I meant. Okay, so what I do now is I'm fine with this. Eyes of the cat are a kind of dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again click this pencil like icon over here. I will click on the brush and this opens up now we have four options your dodge exposure temperature and saturation i'm going to use the exposure tool and as you can see there are plus minus if i go minus if i go down it goes to plus 0 0.03 if i go further down it comes to neutral if i go it comes to minus i don't want to do that what i do is i click on the up arrow again and i come to plus 0 0.7 and with my finger here is what i would like to zoom into the image so I know I have a control where I want to use the brush. Now with the fingertip, I just you go to the eyes and I increase the exposure. And I say, okay, by clicking on the tick mark here, I'm zooming this a bit. Now what I do is if I keep pressing the screen with my thumb, it will show the before. Here, before, after, before, after so now i go back you can see if I, if you want to add a little more of exposure to make the eyes pop or more you do the same thing again you go to the brush you select the exposure option you zoom in with the fingers you pinch down here and with the finger you have again increased exposure over here so now you can see how well the eyes are lit if i click with my thumb on the right hand side just keep it pressed before lift my finger after now what i want to do is again click on the pencil icon here and i will go to the details which looks like a triangle so what if i scroll with my finger up down i get two options one is structure one is sharpening go slightly scrub on the right hand side you can see it is giving it a more of a grunge and of too much of sharpening i don't want that so maybe around 10 should be fine and then i again put my finger on the screen and I scroll up down to get the sharpening option and here it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll here and see how the sharpening is affecting. So I scroll on with my finger on the right hand side and I probably around 30 is fine. And here I go and I click to so show you much prominently here. This is the before and here this is the after. So you see how we added that you know glow in the eye, not glow but adding more exposure eye and making the eyes pop they look so nice sharp and colorful now what we can do is there's something called as the vintage feel which is like a filter so i go, so what you do is you can see the cards kind of a filter here you touch it 
and it just show you all the options that you have 10 11 12 whatever you can try well, I would give this more for 12 because this gives a gradient from black to transparent and this makes it look much better I wouldn't like something like this it's not this is not natural again this is also not very natural so I, I select over here so I have option over here to increase the brightness if I want to of with my thumb if I scroll up on the empty space I get these menus that come up style strength means the style which you are using the number 11 how much that should be applied in a vignette that is there saturation and brightness if I use a little bit of brightness I brighten this up and I touch here and see this is the before and after on any option that you are using or any kind of filter or setting you are using you can always touch the screen to see how it looks with the filter and then with the filter so I say fine here we go so now if I touch the screen see there is a huge difference that you can see I just zoom in a bit again this is with the without the filter and this is with the editing that we have done so we made the cat stand out quite a bit what I do is I'll go on the three dots and sorry I'm, I'll probably and to share this I'm going to click on this upload or you know share option which is here I click on this So here we go, it was successfully saved. If I come back to the orientation of portrait, this is how it looks. So in the portrait, what happens is the pencil here is a tool and the, uh, the export from we have different text format. And if I turn the orientation, they come in the icon mode. If I put it in portrait, so when you, this is the tools again to recap, you go to tune image. What you have to do is this this slide your finger up and down up and down automatically the menu comes then you can work on the shadow then on the saturation etc want to add a little bit of warmth or no if you want to make it a little cool here we go we just shift it into the minus side to get the bluish tone now it looks much much better and then what you can do is here you can go and you can turn turn it around for landscape mode you go We have made some good changes look at the before and look at the after it's a huge change how we made a simple image pop up so friends i hope you really like this video today it was my very first attempt to create one for you on my youtube channel if you have liked it please comment share and yes do subscribe so you know what's coming ahead for you and there's lots more coming thanks a lot for your time goodbye until next time